Welcome to a Wicked and a Satanist, with your Wicked host, Debbie, and your Satanic host, Reverend Jack. Light a candle, turn out the lights. This is where white light meets the dark abyss. Greatest blessings, everyone, and welcome to Sunday's show. Um, first of all, before we start, I want to make sure everybody knows you may not use any part of this show in any way, shape, or form unless you ask me or Reverend Jack, or actually and Reverend Jack. But in the meantime, uh, I do want to oh, apologize. I'm not <laughs> yeah, um, for anyone who hasn't noticed, we, we do have a, a certain guest, uh, and would you like to introduce yourself again, sir? Where's my lightning? My moon, my thunder. Oh, you're, oh, 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 okay. Well, I figured you didn't want it since you had to speak up, but here we go. Oh, that would be the cue for Reverend Jack. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> you were talking beforehand. <laughs> I see you've added a, a little bit more to the uh, repertoire. So that means since you're playing around, I can send you more sounds, and I do have a lot of sounds. In the meantime, um, a lot of people are wondering what today's show is going to be about, and it's going to be about controversy, people. Controversy. Oh, God, it's about me. <laughs> yes, it is about you. And um, the first, uh, one of the things we're going to be speaking about, but it's going to be the last thing we're going to be speaking about, will be the law that passed right here in my home state, Arizona, regarding the uh, immigration. And the second thing that we're going to be talking about, well, actually, it's going to be the first thing we're going to be talking about, is the another wonderful law that passed in Oklahoma regarding... I'm so of Oklahoma, and I've lived there for so many years. <laughs> exactly. That's why the good reverend had to be here, because he was there for so long. That is regarding the abortion issue. And, of course, we also have our lovely co-host, until Jack gets back on a regular basis. Lovely co-host, would you like to chime in? Who, me? No. <laughs> I'm not lovely. I'm ugly as sin. Ugly Everybody as knows it. <laughs> now, the show's not going to be uh, in over an hour long. I tried to. I'm sorry. I got caught up. I had finals this week, and so I did not schedule the show until later. So the longest show I could schedule was only for an hour. And I do apologize, but hey, whatever. Leave it to a plus money. <laughs> hey, hey, you guys are going to be calling on me to do free work at your, at your beck and call as soon as I get my degree, which is why I'm not announcing when I get my degree. Oh, um, well, wow. this also happen again? <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you, Ron, because I'll know. She'll let it slip. Uh, and then she'll be, and, and then she, we will be able to call her a scholarly source. But then you don't know if I'm going to just go for my associates or if I'm going to go for my bachelors. Well, if you go for your bachelors, then what's that make you? Does that make you a scholarly, scholarly source? No, it makes me the teacher of a scholarly source. <laughs> I'm lost. If it's just like everybody else, I'm lost in it. So, but Debbie gets everybody lost anyway. Don't worry. About it. <laughs> That's so funny. Tom Terrific is asking me, "What am I getting a degree in?" Well, if you haven't noticed, I will be getting a degree in digital video and film production. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, my lesson is the hell with you. Let's go talk about the bigots down in Oklahoma. Well, you know what? I've lived for so long. I am so ashamed of Oklahoma right now at passing that law. Well, actually, uh, the day the law went to pass, where they vetoed the governor, smart governor in my book, um, it went in front of a judge and deemed unconstitutional. But to my understanding, uh, their attitude is, uh, legislature that is, his attitude is, even if they have to pass five laws to get this done, they're going to see it through. Well, then you know what? 
then I think why people should take it to the Supreme Court and have them all thrown out. And if, if they're that, you know, I lived there, and it wasn't that close-minded and that bigoted when I was there. And if it's gotten that way, I am so ashamed of the, of the state of Oklahoma and that they want to tell somebody what to do with their own body. If, you, if people want to know what my views are on abortion, just go look at the video on my channel. But the state of Oklahoma has crossed the line. Now, you think that this, um, that this law was bad enough as it is. First of all, just in case you, you know, been in a cave somewhere, uh, the state of Oklahoma passed a law states that if you are to get an abortion, that it's illegal for the doctor not to do this. He has to have an ultrasound, not only an ultrasound, but an ultrasound where you have the best vision and most of the time they're talking about it being a, a vaginal ultrasound. So they're actually, in, it's an invasive ultrasound while they're giving you an abortion where you have to see the baby while it's being aborted. The doctor is pointing out all the little things. This is his head, this is his hands, this is his foot, and, and what exactly he's doing. Now, the thing is, is that I don't see any provisions if you were raped. I don't see any provisions if uh, your life is in danger. Uh, you know, and granted, More most insight. abortions are not under if you're raped or if you're, uh, your life is in danger or you're a victim of some type. However, I know for a fact that most people who get an abortion think long and hard. This is a tough decision for a woman to do. Well, the thing, my thing is, Debbie, um, I, I think abortion is wonderful in certain circumstances. However, if it's used as a birth control measure, then no, it should not be allowed for uh, for birth control use. You know, if you got the if you got, they have new inventions called birth control pills, condoms, and you can. Pretty much pick up condoms anywhere from Spermicide. Spermicide. Exactly. But there are certain instances, like you said, rape. Um, if it's going to cost the mother's life. Um, in fact, I mean, there's a few reasons where it is, is necessary. Or if it's beyond the shadow of a doubt can be proven that the, the fetus would be living a miserable life. I could even go back. For, but they would have to prove that, you know, 100% to me that it would, the fetus would have a terrible handicap at birth, you know. But apparently, since I've left Oklahoma, right-wing nut job um, religious freaks got a hold of the state legislature, and a lot of people are afraid to speak up, but you know what? Oklahoma right wing wackos. If if abortions are so wrong, then wouldn't a miscarriage be God's way of an abortion? Think about that when you're trying to pass that. It is absolutely, you know, especially if you're religious, and you know, I don't see how someone who is uberly religious does not understand, does not see uh, some sort of miscarriage as an abortion that God gives you himself. Well, that's an abortion, but no matter don't... how you look at it. But as long as one, as long as that law is unconstitutional and some one person challenges it, they can't institute the law. So it just takes one person to challenge each time they pass it and they'll never get an anti-abortion law passed. So they might want to think that before they try some of this crazy shit. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give out the number, and then I'm going to play a video. Now, I do apologize that it's kind of, you know, impromptu, because it's actually in the middle of a video, but I wanted to only hear, I want you to only hear just one particular part, okay? The call-in number is one three four seven two zero two. 0682. I will repeat that, 347-202-0682. And I'm going to go ahead and play this little video because there's another law that was passed that regards the abortion issue as well. Here we go. 
Magic. 